to my bout of books wrap up uh, in case you don't know or haven't been following my social media uh, bout of books is a week-long readathon they have three readathons throughout the year one in January one like April May time and one like August time um, it I, I believe the dates <coughs> do change slightly each year just depending on what fits in with the people who run it um so it's a week-long readathon you basically just pledge to read more in that week than you normally would do i uploaded my tbr on my blog but i didn't mention it on here i have been updating on instagram stories and i have been filming this week so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the um vlog footage that i have and then i will come back and just talk you through the books that i read i am going to do sort of more detailed reviews about the books that I read this week in a separate video. So um, this video will go up and then the next video that goes up will be my reviews of the majority of the books that I read in this week. I'm not going to review all of them um, because I read quite a lot of books um, and a couple of them I wasn't so keen on. So um, I'm not going to review all of them, but I will talk about um, the definitely talk about the fiction I might not talk about all of the non-fiction um, but that will be in a separate video so that will be the video that's after this one so I'll leave you with my vlog footage and then I will come back and tell you exactly what I read so it is the first day of bout of books I think this is possibly my favorite readathon of the year the January bout of books readathon um, a couple of years ago I got a new job in January and so I couldn't take part and it was like Oh, I hate this. Um, so yeah, so uh, I'm up later than I wanted to be, but I didn't sleep very well last night, so I needed some sleep. Uh, and now we're gonna make some coffee and uh, crack on with the book. So it is Bouter Books day two. I am out and about today, so you can expect some uh, scenes from being out and about. Back in the car, I am uh, predictably, because it's a Tuesday, outside the library. Um, I have got my Starbucks coffee and breakfast sandwich. I'm going to go and sit and uh, enjoy some more Anatomy of a Scandal. Um, I may get it finished this morning, I'm hoping so. Uh, I've got a meeting at 11 and then I've got something else at 2 uh, and then tonight is obviously trivia. Um, so yeah, so this might be less reading today but then I might have more reading time later on tonight, I don't know. Because I'm out and about it stops me doing stuff in the house and sort of, you know, I'm not going to put the telly up. So I might read more today, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, it is day three of Bout of Books. Uh, I'm out and about again today. I kind of didn't plan to be, but I had things to do. Nothing's gone right this morning. Uh, so I went book, book shopping. Um, let me show you what I got, because I know this is a readathon, shouldn't be buying more books, but I got Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls 2, having absolutely loved Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls 1, so I shall probably be reading this at some point during the week. Um, I'm excited to explore it, it seems to have a map in, because I got the first one from the library, obviously if it had anything with it then they would have taken that out, so I'm excited that this has a map in it. Just to update you on my reading, I've got to beside me on the seat, of course. Uh, I finished Anatomy of a Scandal yesterday. Um, I reviewed that and um, the review will be up on my vlog by the time you see this video because it's uh, gonna be reviewed for release day. I'm currently reading Clicked by Tamara Island Stone, which is a middle grade novel. I've been wanting to read this for a while and it's one that's it's due back at the library. So this is probably the last you'll see of this. Um, I'm just over halfway. Got my lovely wonder bookmark there that Serena gave me. Just over halfway through, I'm on page 155. Uh, so I'll probably be finishing this one today. Um, and obviously I'm about to drive my car somewhere. So that means that I am about to listen to some more of The Bassoon King on audiobook. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if I finish that because I'm about 60% of the way through. It's in parts and I've got parts five, six, and seven to listen to. Um, 
so yeah there's my little update I'm sorry I forgot to update yesterday I was just busy in the library yesterday just constantly in the library doing things chatting to people reading things writing reviews etc um, so yes I will uh, update you later we're in a different location uh, just sitting in a different place in the lounge so today I listened to the audiobook of Unqualified by Anna Faris um, she tells you how to pronounce her name correctly in the audiobook so I feel like I should pronounce it correctly um, and I have started listening to um, Jenna Fisher's actors handbook book even though I'm not an actor I was just intrigued as to what she had to say and I just finished listening to um, Rain Wilson obviously so I was um, yeah I thought I'll stick with office ca office cast books um, and now I'm gonna have some dinner and then I need to start an actual book from my TBR so I don't know whether to do uh, the Sun and her flowers by Rupi Kaur because I could probably sit down and read all of this or to start and maybe carry on reading because it's still quite early it's like half seven eight something um or start uh seven days of us uh by francesca hornack um because i'm quite excited to read this one both of these books have to go back to the library as well um that's why i'm kind of starting those before reading any of the ebooks that i have to read um yeah, I'm a little bit torn. I'm going to have some dinner, maybe have a break and watch some TV because I've been listening to audiobook while doing some um, job applications online. Um, yeah, and, and see how I feel. Uh, I'll let you know what I go for. Good morning. It is Friday, which means it is day five of Bout of Books and uh, I am just having some reading time in bed with my breakfast. It's quite nice. Um, I did decide in the end to pick up Seven Days of Us last night um, and I read some of that in the bath. I also listened to some audiobook in the bath naturally um, and listened to some audiobook before uh, <clears throat> going to sleep as well. I have been awake for a while, I sound sleepy but yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm just enjoying some reading time in bed which is rather lovely. It's really dull outside today which is uh, unusual so I'm enjoying having my, my lights and my cushions and being all snuggly so uh, yeah. So this face and hair is a result of staying up to finish Seven Days of Us last night. I stayed up until just about two, so not too bad, um, to finish it and then set my alarm so I could join in with the Bout of Books Twitter chat this morning which takes place at 9am my time which isn't too bad of a time to get up but when you've spent all your time reading because then I kind of wound down listening to some audiobook after that but hey okay so it's Saturday afternoon and today's challenge is book spine poetry and I'm always a bit like ah, I like the idea of this but then when I actually sit and look at my books it all gets just a little bit oh, I don't know abstract um, so I'm gonna have a look and see what I can come up with and then I'll update you on my book spine poetry. <laughs>
two options or you could look at it that I've got two verses. So here's verse one, option one. Hungry heart, chase the rainbow, catch up clouds, the fault in our stars, wonder. And then you have this, this, this gesture after that one. And then option two or verse two, it's kind of a funny story. Then she was gone, but then I came back. The princess saves herself in this one. So yeah, there's my effort for challenge, day six challenge, there it is. Of course, reading all these reviews, reading all these books means that you have to write the reviews as well. So that's been a big part of my week. Um, all about the coffee, iced or hot, either way. the end of day six um, I haven't done much reading today just because I've had a horrible headache I think my eyes are just like you've done so much reading this week stop um, I've watched quite a lot of Grey's Anatomy um, and I'm about to go to bed I'm like I'm, I'm just about to finish um, the new Lucy Diamond book which is audiobook but that will be that be book number seven I think that'll be book number seven so uh, tomorrow can be a little bit more low-key so I was aiming to read for seven books um, and I'll see if I get on with um, what is it I started everything beautiful is not ruined um, I did start this this morning and it is good so I'll take it to bed with me and see if I get on with reading it um, but if not I might start another audiobook or I might read The Sun and Hair Flowers tomorrow or I might pick up something else, you never know. Um, we'll wait and see, by the time this goes up you'll have found out, it's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do my uh, update for the day uh, and then that is ready to go up tomorrow. So it is day seven and I am uh, reading in bed again, reading with my breakfast. Um, I am on page 123 look at those cute little leaf page numbers I think it definitely helps and like when there's a break in the book as well there's um, like leaves which I won't be able to there we go which is cool um, yeah I'm enjoying this one uh, it's not what I expected um, but I'm enjoying the present story more than the past story. But I know at some point the past story will explain more of the present story. So I will enjoy it more then, if that makes sense. Little uh, cameo appearance of the Wonder Bookmark there from Zarina. Yeah. I have finally finished my final book. Everything beautiful is not ruined. I had to take a little break. So it got quite intense at the end there. Um, but yeah, I'll be reviewing this one uh, in my next video. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Do let me know in the comments if you like that vlog style footage. Um, I know those videos don't tend to get as high views on my channel, but I get requests for them in the comments. So just let me know below what you think, whether I should keep doing them or not. Uh, yeah, the books. I have my... Uh, trusty gold notebook of course um to let you know exactly what i read this week so the first book that i finished was anatomy of a scandal by sarah vaughan this is proof copies there's the title on the side everybody has been talking about this one on social media and this one was 400 pages the first book that i finished the second book was an audiobook i listened to the bassoon king by rain wilson on audiobook i've been wanting to listen to it for a while uh, and i just decided to pick it up this week that totaled 301 pages uh, then a book that i unfortunately had to return to the library so i don't have it here to show you but you'll have seen it in the vlog footage uh, and that is clicked by tamara island stone 
which is a middle grade novel and as I say I will talk more in that other video about these books in detail. That one was 304 pages. Uh, then I listened to the audiobook of Unqualified by Anna Faris. Um, if you've heard her podcast you'll know about the book uh, and I was on quite a long wait list for this one from the library so um, and that one totaled 306 pages uh, and then a book that I absolutely fell in love with I kind of didn't read this one as quickly as the others I read it over three days because I was so enjoying it I didn't want to put it down but I felt like I had to put it down um, and that is Seven Days of Us by Francesca Hornack um, this one uh, again you'll have seen a lot of people talking about I believe it was a Radio 2 uh, Simon Mayo book club pick um, so yeah I will talk about this one in more detail in my next video uh, and this one was 358 pages even though it felt so much more I just show you the writing on the pages really small really small um, yes then another audiobook that I finished um, was The Actor's Life by Jenna Fisher um, it's a survival guide and that was only 252 pages it felt a bit longer um, and also if you're not going to watch my next video um, it definitely was inspiring even though I'm not an actor it was just generally inspiring and motivating and had some really cool anecdotes in so that was cool uh, then uh, another audiobook that I listened to a long audiobook that I listened to this one has just come out and I had pre-ordered it um, and that is On a Beautiful Day by Lucy Diamond blanked about my author then uh, Lucy Diamond um, and the interesting thing about the audiobook was that it included an author interview at the end of the audiobook which I thought was fantastic because normally with audiobooks you miss out on that kind of thing so I was really happy that that was on there um, and that one was a whopping 480 pages um, then I have just finished uh, Everything Beautiful Is Not Ruined which is by Danielle Younger Ullman um, and this one I'm still gathering my thoughts about by the time I make the next video I will have thoughts on this one I don't want to share any thoughts on this one yet uh, this one was 368 pages and then I finally um, got round to reading slash listening to the audiobook of Moonrise by Sarah Crossan I finished this I started this one back in September um, I remember sitting in a pret -a manger in Newbury reading this one and for some reason I put it down and never came back to it um, so I saw that the audiobook was on offer it's an audible deal of the month it's $4.99 this month um, there's a load of YA books on there including three Sarah Crossan books um, so I saw it was on offer on there I was like right I'm going to buy this it's quite a short audiobook so I'm going to just listen to the entirety because I've already forgotten what happened because I started it back in September um, and this one actually because it's written in verse it actually totally totals 400 pages even though it was significantly shorter than The Actor's Life by Jenna Fisher which only totals 252 pages it was like half the length of that but it's because it's written in verse so in terms of actual physical pages it's a hardback with lots of pages but on each page there's only maybe a small amount of text or a text in a shape and so it doesn't take up a lot of room so I'm sorry this video was a little bit long. I hope you've made it this far. If you have, remember I'm going to be posting a review video of um, the majority of these books. As I say, not quite gathered my thoughts on a couple of them yet because I've literally just finished them. We're talking this is Sunday night right now end of readathon time um i love bout of books i've had such a great week of reading my eyes and my head have been quite sore from all the actual like physical books that i've read and i've had quite a lot of things to do around the house so it's been great to be listening to audiobooks whilst i've been doing those things around the house my uh, phone is constantly running out of battery because i've been using my bluetooth speaker and bluetooth headphones but that's the price that we have to pay for reading um so yes i'll be posting that review video 
as I say, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the vlog style section of this video. Let me know if you want to see more of that or less of that. Um, and yeah, make sure you're subscribed so that review video lands in your subscription feed. I'm hoping to get it up on Wednesday. It just depends on the time that I have to film because um, I'm just a little bit busy at the moment. Having put everything off for a readathon, I need to now catch back up with some stuff. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. I will see you with that review video. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think. Bye.